All right, everybody, as you know, that it usually be a podcast episode on today, which is as of this recording is Thursday. DJ is a little bit under the weather. Myself have uh, a lot of other things to do for tonight. So we'll be back um, on the following day, which is Tuesday with episode 140 of the First and Frame Race podcast. Um, but I have another video for you guys. So I hope you catch this and hope you all enjoy. All right, people, what's going on? I'm back with another video, and today we're going to talk about Streets of Rage 4. I've been waiting for this game for a while now. Uh, I've been a big fan of the series when it comes to uh, beat-em-ups. Definitely been on Streets of Rage since the Genesis, so this was nice to see them you know, bring this back out. Uh, and I'm just going to give you a, a few little thoughts, but um, just to make it you know, short, if you you know want my thoughts, uh, just plain and simple, you need to buy this game. I think the only thing I have an issue with that is not four-player co-op is only two-player. But um, I just love the mechanics. It just have the old-school feel. It has everything that you want in a game uh, of this caliber. Uh, when I started playing, it, it, it kind of felt like an updated version of what we had on the Genesis and um, other um, type of style, these styles of beat em ups But I do like the the extra mechanics that they have with like weapons or whatever, when you can, it, you can catch them after you hit an opponent or whatever the case may be. I mean, it's a really solid beat them up. Uh, as of right now, I'm, I'm probably halfway through. I haven't been able to complete it because, you know, um, you know, I had other, you know, responsibilities outside of, you know, just playing video games today. So, uh, I, I'm planning on finishing it, um, as soon as possible, but, uh, I highly, recommend uh getting this picking this up it's a really good beat em up uh i don't have much else to say when it comes to it honestly i, I just love the way it, it it just gives you that nostalgia feel as well as uh pretty good um early you know updated mechanics i mean not early but i i'm really enjoying it uh, I, I if i can really say anything else um the art style is a little bit over the top and I also would like for it to have like a retro style, like where you can go back and have like the old school pixels similar to how um, it used to be back in the day or something where uh, how it was with um, like a Shovel Knight style game where you can go back to the uh, um, eight. Well, I ain't going to say eight bit, but 16 bit because this was a 16 bit game. So um, not necessarily Shovel Knight, but if you can go back to the 16 bit era where you can get uh those style of pixels and graphics as an option, I really would think that would be great too. Uh, but overall, um, highly recommended. I think right now, um, I got it on Steam for like $24, $22 or something like that. And I think that was on sale because I think it's, I think the price is like 29 or something like that. But uh, nevertheless, it is well worth the purchase. Uh, I highly recommend it. And um, like I said, I wish it was more than one um, I'm sorry, more than uh, two people to play. Um, I wish it would be like a four-player co-op because this would be a game that I would recommend myself, DJ, and Bills to play together and we would stream. Uh, we've been saying we've been wanting to do that for a while and we've just never been able to do that. So um, I just hope that uh, they can build upon this and maybe they can give us another version or they can update it or anything to where... Um, they could do, you know, four player co-op because there are four characters in the game. So uh I, I I just hopefully that'll be the case. I doubt if they'll do it. Nevertheless, this is highly recommended. I highly recommend this game. Um pick it up. It's uh for all platforms from what I see is even on the Nintendo Switch. And um it's a perfect game to play. Nice, nice beat 'em up, and I highly like I said, I can't say it enough. I highly recommend it. So um if you guys, you know, check us out on the podcast, you know, like I said, this podcast is canceled for this week, for this Thursday, but um, hopefully you guys will catch us on every Tuesday and Thursday, and I uh, will see you guys then. Hope you guys take care. Peace.